look what we have here. Yes, some walls that are in real bad shape. So, pretty much I want to show you here that what, what it takes to fix walls that are in pretty rough shape. And that they are, you can fix them. There's, very, there's almost no reason to take all the plaster off a wall, or a room, or a house. Plaster can always be fixed. And drywall is not really at the same level as plaster. You can tell when a house is drywall than when a house is mostly plaster. Okay, here this is just my patch coat. I'm patching in the, the spots where there's holes. And then I'll throw a coat on the wall just to start filling. So I, I think the only thing that we have here that we have going for us is that we don't have to patch the lath. That's still intact. You can see from this this point of view here, they're mad. Now this would be on this part of the wall my first coat. And we'll do several more coats from this point on. Now at the end of this video I have a finished video that shows the room complete. So if you're not interested in uh, the process of fixing the plaster, you can go to the end and see what the finish looks like. The reason why we go through all this. On this wall, I'm still on that fill coat. Now you can see to the right hand right hand side of me here, someone has chopped some of the plaster up. Now, some of the people I work with, they prefer to do that. Chop parts of the plaster out and put their patches in. I do not like doing that. I think it makes too much dust, takes too much time. And they will admit that I am 10 times faster at patching the wall up than they are when they're chopping their little squares and put a drywall patch in. But I will have to say that when they do that and I run skim coat on it, it is easier to skim coat and you might get a little bit better of a product when you're done. So it has its benefits in place. Uh, I, I scraped them all on, and now I'm probably putting on my uh, first or second coat here. I'm not sure. So, like I've said, I've never took a home and, and gotten an old plaster out or a wall. I can't even remember doing it to a wall, just one wall. I always patch in the plaster. <clears throat> and that is the best way to do it. You don't want to chop plaster at home. Now I don't mean for a patch, I mean completely remove the plaster and replace it with drywall. Because it can be fixed. You can use uh, plaster washers. For here I'm just fixing the holes. And of course we use tape to, to mat, reinforce the patches or to reinforce a crack. So we can, we always have a, a means to fix our plaster. Alright, I'm probably working on the second cone here. Scraping 
and another coat. This is obviously my the first coat, I guess, on this wall. Now some of the areas, I had to slow things down, I was working too fast. Some of the areas you will not see, so we don't have to get too particular on how we're skimming that out. Especially areas behind the refrigerator or oven or where cabinets are going. So in this area, most of this area, you won't see it. But we're going to put in some tile here. So it has to be reasonably smooth. And this will be behind the sink, so... But when I skim a room on, I skim it all the way around. I don't skip areas or anything. And this is, you can do this in your entire home. The same the plaster work. Again, in between coats, the only prep work I do is to scrape the wall. That's the only thing I do. You could sand in between coats and get a better finish, but simply I do not want to make the dust. And even with the improved finish, it's simply not worth it in an old home because none of the walls are perfect. You don't want them to be perfect. And the work you do, you want it to match the other walls in the building or the wall you're working on. So this is, I'm probably doing a final coat on this. And from here we will wipe it down. And you can see we're making progress. Our room, our walls are looking better and better. So no longer do they look so horrible. We can see that we're making progress, even though it's it's a lot of work to do that. But it's worth it. This is not something you want to pay someone to do. This is something, this is a, a main do-it-yourself project in a home. And it is very important in a home. I would say it's even more important than a lot of the mechanicals in a home because this is what people see. So I, I hate to say it because I'm a big mechanical guy and I like running new wires and new stuff but I mean really when you get down to it no one cares if you do that. They want to see a pretty wall. So this is a very important job but definitely something that should be handled by the homeowner or a DIY situation. The this, this skill is easy to learn with practice. The more you do it, the better you'll get. And at the end of it, you will skim out walls that are perfectly smooth. And of course, if they don't come out smooth, you got to sand them down. Here, I will wipe this entire room down with a sanding sponge. I start at the bottom, work my way up, I wet the wall down, and then flip the sponge over and give it a light sanding. Now, if you're doing this, and your wall is not smooth enough, you will see that it takes way too long to get a nice finish from doing this. And you'll know maybe a sanding or a wipe down and then a light sanding. I've done that where the sponge just won't cut the compound and you have to lightly sand some areas. You can see our lighting isn't very good here. That's because the electric is off. Anytime 
you, you have water and you're around electricity it's it's a good idea to shut all the power off so here we are wiping walls on around plugs and we do, don't want to get zapped so and that would hurt a wet hand on a live circuit is not going to be fun it is going to be more voltage than you realize when you're dry so we have the electricity off here and you can see this is a big job I'm doing here and I'm wiping it on I'm not sanding it so when you when you take into consideration the cleanup of the dust and the, the dust gets everywhere and every crack in your filter and your furnace and your ductwork sweeping the whole deal it's worth the extra time to wipe the wall on but I also understand that sanding is how you have to do it and that's how you have to do it I'm not against sanding or anything Okay, we're looking good here. So, this is the finished product. This is what we work for. No, I didn't show trimming it out or painting or anything. But this is how it looks. That's what we did this all for. So, thanks for watching. Turned out well. The walls look great. The kitchen looks great.